Good morning, Senator Amy Galley. My name is Corey Turner, and I'm a constituent of yours located here in North Carolina. I have been a registered nurse for three years now, working at Moses Cone Hospital in the medical surgical ICU. I'm also um, at school at UNC Wilmington to get my master's in nursing, in nursing education. I am here today to talk to you about House Bill 557 and the importance of ensuring water fountains and bottle refill stations are readily available in gyms during the COVID-19 state of emergency. I'd like to begin with this story. This is my friend, Brittany. She is a mom of two kids. She just got off work and drove home to get changed and ready for the gym. She fills up her big flask of water and she's ready to go. Well, she gets to the gym and she is taking a sip of her water and she spills it. Now she wonders how she's gonna get through her workout without her water. The water stations are still closed at her gym and she does not wanna pay an overpriced amount for a water bottle, a Gatorade, from the gym on top of the gym membership that she has to pay for monthly. She's had a stressful day though and wants to work out. Her frustration is real. She's carved out time in her busy schedule to work out and then runs into a problem like this. Let's prevent these situations. I'm lobbying to pass House Bill 557 to reestablish water, water fountains and bottle refill stations and gyms, especially because we're in a new stage of the COVID-19 pandemic. We are now more educated on COVID-19 and we are implementing the appropriate precautions that we need. We have readily available COVID-19 tests, whether you go to a clinic or you get tested at home. And we also have vaccines. In fact, according to the CDC, 68% of Americans are fully vaccinated. Another reason we should reopen water stations is because the CDC states on August 11th of 2022, there is no current evidence that people can get COVID-19 by drinking water. Additionally, an article published by the Cambridge University Press in March of 2021 discusses how surfaces like water fountains present only a low risk of transmitting COVID-19 based on research they performed. The research showed that 4% of their water fountain samples tested positive for COVID-19, only 4%. The public just needs to implement basic environmental hygiene like cleaning water fountains and personal hygiene like hand washing and hand sanitizer and quarantining if, if suspected of having COVID-19 or being exposed to COVID-19. Reopening bottle station is also, is also beneficial to the environment because it encourages the use of reusable water, water bottles instead of our plastic water bottles. These would otherwise go into the ocean or into landfills. Also refillable bottles <clears throat> Refillable bottle stations provide quality filtered water, which is good for our health and reduces stress for those that question other water supplies. We can also reduce the consumption of sugary sports drinks by providing this easy access to free filtered water at gyms. House Bill 557 can address several social determinants, such as providing the easy access to drinkable water, eliminating the expense related to purchasing water, and eliminating the stress related to the lack of accessibility to water while working out, promoting the safety of being hydrated while working out. There's also an important equity component to accessible drinking water at gyms. What if Brittany had brought a lower class friend who didn't have access to safe drinking water at home? What would she have done? So the lack of access to drinking water in gyms could discourage the community from workout, which could lead to increased obesity. Did you know that <clears throat> a nationwide study published in PubMed revealed that 48% of Americans gained weight after the first year of the pandemic. This shows that we need to be doing everything we can to encourage physical activity. Gyms have reopened, so why haven't we reopened our water stations? No one wants to work out without access to water, plus it's just not safe. Overall, reopening water fountains and bottle refill stations with appropriate precautions is a low risk and high benefit policy decision to have gyms implement. So will you, Senator Amy Galley, support reopening gym, gym water fountains and bottle refill stations to, to ensure the health of the community? Thank you for your time.